We're hanging out backstage with Patrick. And now you guys look a little different than the last time I saw you guys. We've got a new member here. With so three. Andrew, yeah, you're three now. And so, Tom can grow a mustache now. Oh, well, that is the biggest news <laughs> of all. <laughs> Maybe. Brothers are supposed to do that. I've got two that, That's why we got the third guy, so he can break us up a bit. Yeah. Nice, yeah. yeah. So you, I should be in the middle. That. Yeah, I'm we'll, we're good. We're yeah, good. yeah. You know what? I've got two brothers and a sister, and we rip each other all the time. So yeah. this, this is what it's you supposed get it. to be like. Yeah, I get it. So you know what? Because there's a new member, Jordan. Yeah. You know what? Let's go through. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself to Kiss and Country. Hey, Kiss and Country. Jordan Day. I'm part of Petrick. I've been actually with Petrick longer than Tom's been with Petrick. So I'm almost adopted. They're working on the paperwork right now. No. But uh, <laughs> play guitar, uh, do a lot of harmonies, and uh, and ladies, he is married. Yes, I do have a ring on. Um, <laughs> she said that's so exciting. <laughs> I'm always even keel. Yeah. Uh, you know, my job is basically to separate these two guys whenever they get in arguments, which is every day. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. other than that, no, we work really good together. Uh, we've got kind of a dynamic that has always been there, but in the past year we decided to make it official. So now it's a three piece. Now it's a three piece. So you're a trio. Yeah. yeah. And that's very exciting for you. Now, how has it changed up the music and the process of uh, writing and recording? It's way better. Yeah. I feel like. It's like when you're in a, a relationship and like, where have you been all my life sort of thing. Jordan's always been there, but once we kind of just said, okay, this is this is what we should be doing, it's like, man, this just makes too much sense. Mm -hmm. So we've been nonstop since November. Yeah. Um, that was when we kind of had our first meet and said, this is what we should be doing. I think we're missing out if we don't, and you only live once. So we're all like, let's do it. And, and since then, it's been nonstop. It's been a lot of fun. A couple of bickering fights ah. anytime, but... Uh, <laughs> But we got I, a I would be worried if we there weren't. We got a bunch of new music. <laughs> yeah. It's the best music we've ever done. Yeah. The band, and like all the other guys, this is the best team we've ever had. So you're gonna hear some tonight too. So that's awesome. And your new sing or single, single, single pro, 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 the pro. tongue twister. Yeah, yeah. It, is. it is a tongue twister. Yeah. It's climbing up the charts. He co-wrote it with Jason Blaine. Yeah. How does it feel to be um, on the charts uh, with your name, your artist like Eric Church and Keith Urban? Well, it's funny. We were just saying this is our third top twenty. Ever and that's such a cool. It's such a cool feeling to see a song that you've been a part of, climb alongside Eric Church, Keith, there, and yeah, all those guys. Oh, absolutely! I can only imagine the the excitement that you would see seeing you know Keith Urban, Patrick, Eric Church, like. Yeah, I had a fan girl. It's like Christmas that. every day. <laughs> I have fan girl moments whenever I think about Keith. Oh, still with Keith, Keith there. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of a fan, but well, Jason, also a fan. Jason actually sends us updates pretty much daily. Like, look where we're at now. Look where we're at now. And, we lost uh, a spin. Yeah. <laughs> One. Yeah. We lost a spin. We're monitoring pretty closely, but it's just so exciting to it's see, especially cool. for me being my first single with the band, and to see us have the success with a song that we had our input that we wrote yeah. that we kind of did from the beginning to the end. To see it now is just amazing. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Now I was checking out your Instagram, and I love this because you guys had a photo. Uh, you guys played a festival within the last week or so, and you got to play with Lone Star, and that was the first yeah. concert that you went to. Yeah. yeah when you were four was, years old. Yeah. How cool was it to be? playing the same stage as somebody that you kind of grew up idolizing and probably, you know, you know, listened to their music growing up and thought, I want to do this. I don't think I realized what was happening until I actually met them after we played. <laughs> and I like walking up, I'm like the hymns like, man, I'm actually really nervous right now. Like, I, four years old, my first concert was them front row center. Somebody asked us not too long ago, um, who's the biggest band you share a stage with? And, and I think they asked us that day, and I'm like, you know what? I think it's Lone Star. Because they were huge. They still are huge, but when, when Amazed came out, that was that was one of the biggest songs, and it's still one of the biggest wedding songs out there. Oh, absolutely, so, yeah. Yeah, like that's and, a special moment. I mean, and they've been cranking out hits since the mid-90s, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. So like, good. So good. So yeah, to see them and to be performing on the same stage. And tonight you're performing with a, a Canadian music legend. Right, yeah. Is, yeah. Is, you know, Very so you're going to cool. be, he's going to be taking the stage just after you guys. And then one of the hottest duos in country music right now, Brothers Osborne. Yeah. So how do you guys mentally prepare yourself to hit the stage knowing that Charlie Major and Brother Osborne are to come? Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually so it's true for true. <laughs> You know, I, it's rum and coke, rum and coke ball, <laughs> and he likes Corona, craft beer. Yeah, craft beer, Corona, anything, yeah. <laughs> we, we have fun. liquor. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we just have fun. We, yeah. I think. Going up to it, we try to not be too uh, too into it and, and just go and have fun. 
Yeah. Well, in this crowd, uh, the Kiss and Country kickoff party at the Big Valley Jamboree, like we're so excited that Big Valley is finally here. Yeah. And this just sets a tone for the whole weekend. It is going to be a crazy party tonight. This is our first time here. Ever. Which is crazy because you know you know how you went to Lone Star, that was your first concert. My very first concert was 1993, the very first year they had the Big Valley Jam. No way, Ooh, really? Cameras. Yeah, so. Look at you I, now, you're a superstar. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> My mom thinks I'm a superstar. That's cool though. It's like to think about full circle, yes. that is really cool. So. It is very, very cool. Well, I think cool. Charlie's, we just did a little event with Charlie, which is just super cool to play with. But he said that was his first like major, major thing was 93. He released a song and he came and played here. Yeah, it was one now. So you might have even seen it. <laughs> one now movie. I feel really old, so oh, thank no. you. <laughs> it, it's so cool. It's so cool to be part of the community and to get to, you know, hear your song on the radio. And, and then, of course, to see it go up the charts. But honestly, just to hear your song on the radio, yeah. that's really special. And, and we said this on the songwriters thing we just did. I hope we never take that for granted. Because that, yeah, it's, it's a lot of hard work. And for those three minutes that you're listening to it and it's coming through that FM dial there, that that's special and that's yeah. a lot of hard work for those three minutes so yeah that's awesome now what does the rest of 2019 hold for for Patrick recording writing yeah. finish up these songs that we have and hopefully get you guys some new music very soon yeah. well that's awesome we can't wait to hear it we can't wait to hear you on the Kiss and Country kickoff party stage tonight it's gonna be so much fun thank you for coming to Big Valley we can't wait to see you again thanks for having us